sounded terrible. Goes enhanced training to ensure you receive the best coffee anywhere in the galaxy. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's settle this once and for all. Velocity or Chimera? You kidding? Chimera, all day. Why do you think I'm eating? Excuse me, I don't suppose you're looking for a robotics expert, are you? I have a vested interest in getting out of Neon. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the I have a good deal of experience with machines, especially robots. I'm also an expert in the manufacture of certain yeah, chemical right. substances. Where the hell did but I guarantee I'll figure out whatever job anyway. you give me, even if I've never done Let's it before. It, I've got a good head on my shoulders. Gifted. You're a real lifesaver, boss. Thanks. There's just one thing to discuss before I sign on. I'm conducting some independent research in the space lanes. I won't let it interfere with my duties, but I refuse to give it up while I'm working on your crew. Is that gonna be a problem? Let's call it colony war history. I'm not comfortable saying anymore right now. Can't trust anyone these days, you know? Glad to hear it. Thanks for being open-minded. Oh, and don't bother draining your pockets for my salary. I don't really need the money, just the job. That depends. What can you offer? Let's not close the door on this just yet. Yeah, I hope so. I'm not taking this job for money. I'll work for a dozen rusty credits as long as I'm able to continue my research. Whew, that is a relief. I can't wait to get out of the city. I owe you a favor. Don't think I'll forget it. See you out there, boss. Please tell me you're reassigning me. Why not? I've been researching Urban decommissioned technology Please. from the colony war, specifically the mechanized oh, combat the units force. manned by the Free Star Militia's 1st Cavalry. I'd appreciate if you kept your mouth shut about that. Mechs were banned after the armistice and researching them is strictly illegal. I already got into hot water for my research when I worked at Ryujin Industries. I'd rather not try my luck at slithering out of trouble again. I believe mechs have a lot of applications beyond the battlefield. We could use them for mining, exploring dangerous biomes, and even prosthesis. Banning research into those applications of mech technology was extremely short-sighted, in my opinion. Mechs were outlawed at the end of the colony war as part of the armistice. The governing bodies of the settled systems felt they were too dangerous to exist. Researching and constructing them is still illegal throughout the galaxy to keep the tech from falling into the hands of one government or the other. Thanks, hon. Glad to know you're on my side. If I get into any more trouble for my research, I'll be sure to keep your name out of it. I'm always happy to talk about that. Ryujin Industries is one of the largest corporations in the galaxy. They have subsidiaries in every industry from beverages to high performance weapons. The real showstopper in their product lineup is proprietary, though. A piece of wearable tech called a neuroamp. Supposedly, they improve brain function. They're all the rage in Neon, but personally, I don't buy it. The human mind is too complex to be effectively altered by an external machine. No, I never saw the point. I don't believe they work. Even if I did, I wouldn't use one. My mind's sharp enough on its own. Mechanically augmenting my mental processes seems like cheating myself out of organic thought. 
The marketing execs at Reagent would be disappointed to hear that. If they had it their way, everyone in the settled systems would be wearing a neuroamp. I was employed at Drone, a Ryujin subsidiary dedicated to robotics development and manufacturing. I was part of the team that designed new models, but it wasn't my dream job. I never quite fit in at Ryujin Industries. Management wasn't a fan of some of my more unconventional research methods. The only reason I stayed is because the job got me access to Drone's labs. They had equipment I needed for my personal research. Aurora, I'm a regular user. I find the psychedelic effects to be a good stimulant for the creative process. I do some of my best work while I'm tripping. My managers at Ryujin Industries found it distasteful, though. A breach of corporate ethical policy, to quote the official written warning I received about it. No, not particularly. I see Aurora as a tool, not a lifestyle. I manage my use of it extremely carefully. It helps open my mind and makes me more creative. When I'm on Aurora, I feel like I see connections between things that I'd miss when I'm sober. Some scientists would call me a lunatic for it, but I think they're being too close-minded. Humans have used psychedelics to expand our minds for centuries. I have. Uh, one of the first times I tripped, I had a vision I can only describe as cosmic. I saw strange lights and heard this otherworldly music in my head. It, it felt like I could see all the pieces of reality and understand the connections between them. It was extraordinarily enlightening. I've been incorporating Aurora into my research ever since. If you're open to the idea, you should give it a try, too. It's a powerful tool when used correctly. Uh, when Ryujin found out what kind of research I was doing in their labs, they fired me on the spot. They tipped off Neon Security, too. I was arrested on treason charges. They didn't stick, though. They rarely do, for those of us with enough credits to our name to bribe the higher-ups in Neon. I bet you for that. When I got out, some thugs on Ryujin's payroll encouraged me to leave Neon. That's why I was in such a hurry to leave. You might have saved my life by hiring me. Poor decision-making on my part. I made the mistake of trusting one of my fellow employees with information on what I was doing. He reported me to management. In all likelihood, management made him disappear for it. Ryujin takes the old adage, loose lips sink ships, more seriously than most. They wouldn't want it getting out that one of Drone's employees was doing illegal research. Might shine too much light on what their other departments are doing. That's the spirit. Having enough credits to your name makes you invincible in Neon. You can count on me for the bail money too. I owe you one for getting me out of Neon. Fine by me. My parents are Trident Luxury Liners execs with more credits to burn than there is helium in the galaxy. My wealth comes from them. But I'm not your typical trust fund baby. My parents cut me off years ago when I refused to live my life the way they wanted me to. I retaliated by hacking their bank accounts, taking enough credits to live the rest of my life comfortably, and leaving home for Neon. We haven't spoken since. They expected me to follow in their footsteps and go into business management. If they had their way, I'd be spending the rest of my life behind a Trident desk. But I can't think of a less fulfilling career than pushing papers. My parents and I disagreed on that, so I took matters into my own hands. Uh, probably but I'm confident they'll never find me. I changed my name when I left home. I also had my appearance altered and enhanced. That I did for my own benefit, but the anonymity it affords me is a bonus. Heard of Paradiso? It's the most luxurious resort in the galaxy. My parents own one of the penthouses. We lived there full time when I was growing up. 
save it. I don't regret what I did. It's not like I left my parents destitute, and we were never close to begin with. I doubt they miss me any more than they miss the credits. Anything else? <laughs>